Hi wig lover, this is Heather from sisterwigs.com and today I am bringing you a review of another Louis Ferre wig. This one is called Ashley and the color is the same one in the manufacturer photo. It's called Burgundy. Now I really like the feel of the hair. Um, it feels really natural actually. To me this, this fiber feels very much like human hair. Now that is a good thing and a bad thing. The bad part may, means that it's heavy. It's a, it's a heavy fiber, um, and the fact that they give you so much of it means that the wig itself is heavy. Meh. Um, but it does feel very natural, and it looks very, very natural. Very close to human hair. I'm actually, with all of these Louis Ferre wigs that I am reviewing, that's the one thing that I'm impressed with the most. How much like human hair this fiber actually feels. It's, it's really impressive. Um, but that being said, if you're looking for a lightweight wig, yeah, I'm putting that out there. <laughs> Moving on. I think that this wig is really cool. I love how straight it is and how it has all these little razored ends. That's really, really cool. I think that's very trendy right now. Um, now, if only the bang did the same thing, but it can. Um, the bang itself does this curl thing where it like swoops off to the side. If you want this bang to be long and straight to match the rest of the wig, get yourself a steamer wand and just take the steam and straighten them out. And then, boom, you've got yourself some straight bangs. The steam, if you do it correctly, will not damage the wig. Um, and there are lots of tutorials online for how to apply steam to a wig. But I think that that's the only thing that this wig is really lacking. I wish that the bang weren't so soft. The ends and, and the length on this and everything about it is very edgy and straight. And I want the bang to be the same. So, if you're like me, that is totally a forgivable offense because it's very easy to modify the bang at home. It'll take you five minutes and then boom, it'll be straight and ready to go. And I would do that to this wig, except it's not mine. I'm gonna add this to my inventory and add it as one of my clearance gems after I'm done with this review. Again, the hair feels fabulous. This is one of their mono system wigs. So it has a complete monofilament top. It does not have a lace front, but it has these really um, nice bangs. The mono top is well done. You can see right there, and you can part it in any direction. Another thing I really like about Louis Ferre is that you get really good coverage here on the sides. At least I do. I always have problems with side coverage um, because I have such a large head that I always feel like this whole sideburn area is completely exposed, which is kind of a bad thing whenever I shave the sides of my head because then it gets double sticking out, which is kind of not that attractive. So I love the fact that these, these ear tabs give you plenty of coverage. Now because this, even though this is a mono system wig, it does not have the lace front, and because of that, this does not have the polyurethane tabs on the ear tabs. It just has um, lace on it. So there's the mono system tag, and here is the tag for this. And as you can see, they call the color burgundy, but as you can see, it's a 33. 33, if you're aware, is simply a dark auburn brown. Um, it's also called dark natural auburn. Whenever you see that word natural, it's basically code that this is more of a brunette shade that has a slight red tint to it, as you can tell here. If I turn off this extra light, you might be able to see it a little bit better. That it does have a little bit of a red hue, but don't get it twisted. It, it definitely looks more like a brunette shade um, overall. I, I really am impressed with the quality of the hair fiber. Very, very nice. And I think that the length on this is also very, very attractive. So let me go ahead and turn to the side and shake that out a little bit. Very, very pretty. And here's the back. And the side. Now this wig will definitely definitely need to be retrained. Um, especially if you want the bangs to go in any direction other than this direction. Again, 
If you want the bangs to be different or if you want them all to flop, uh, flop straight down um, or if you want to take it to a stylist and have a stylist cut some fringe into the bang to kind of match the fringe at the end of the, the strands. Um, yeah, all you need is some steam and you can steam that straight and then have your stylist cut that for you. Um, or just soak this overnight in some cold water, part it where you want it, maybe pin it into place with some bobby pins, let it um, dry overnight, and that should be enough to retrain the wig to part in a different direction. As it stands, I was unable <laughs> with just the comb to get the wig to part in a different direction. And since I strive to keep these as unstyled and as straight out of the box as possible, I'm not going to train this for the sake of this review. But as you can tell, very beautiful wig. The hair fiber feels fabulous. It's just a really nice fiber, very realistic. And the shine, I don't know if you can tell from the, the video or not, but it's definitely not excessive. I've got a lot of light shining on it right now, and it's a dark color. Usually they tend to be a little shinier, and I think this looks very natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so you can see what the cap construction looks like. Well, here is an up close shot of that mono top. It's a very nice mono top. The back is very stretchy, it's open, um, i.e. capless in the back. You've also got the nape here, claw ex ex um, enclosures to adjust the size. It's already let out all the way for me. Also has this little polyurethane gel grip to help keep the wig in place. You can also add adhesive there if you like and the full hand-tied mono top. And as I mentioned about the ear tabs, they're just covered with lace. This wig, um, let's see, how much does this one weigh? This one weighs 6.4 ounces. So it weighs comparably to a human hair wig um, of similar length. And it also, um, the bangs are four and a half inches. The layer from the crown down is 12 inches and from the nape down is 12 inches. So if you're paying attention to my reviews, those are almost the exact same dimensions as the Jennifer wig. Um, so if you're interested in either of these two wigs and you're torn between the two, if you like the edgy, fringy styling of Ashley, it's fair to assume that this is basically a Jennifer that has been straightened. There you go. So let me go ahead and put this back on. I actually really dig that straightening iron look. Um, and part of that I think is just because my hair is naturally curly. So I always envied the girls that could get that poker straight hair. I'm just gently brushing through that with the wide tooth comb and it goes right into place. And as you can see, that part didn't want to move at all. So if you want it to go somewhere else, just retrain it overnight. Gorgeous wig, very realistic. This is the Ashley wig. It's a mono system wig by Louis Ferre. And the color is 33, which they call burgundy, but don't, don't get confused. It's not actually burgundy. It's much closer to a dark auburn brown. Thanks for watching and have a great night. Bye-bye.